Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Crafty and DIY with Nora. Today, I'm working with tumblers purchased at Dollar Tree, and I am making Christmas ornaments. And the first one I'm doing is uh, picture frames, little picture frames. These ornaments I am doing for my tree I bought at Dollar Tree. And I put three of them together and it looks really nice. I did a voice over on this one and another one and I deleted it by mistake. I'm still learning these editing um, movies so just bear with me. Um, you see how cute I put them all together, four piece, six pieces. There you have one. And I need a back and I did a backing for both of them. It gives it more of a realistic look, even though they're real, but you know, makes it feel like a picture frame without the glass. It's quick. I could sit and do these for days in different styles. And it's just simple to decorate. It doesn't need a lot, especially when you're doing a rustic country Christmas tree. Unfortunately, this table I use them is a fold-up table that I've been using for a while, and it's like dented in the middle. So, so you know, my tumblers didn't come out correct, but that's the beauty of buying um, or even making home decors or ornaments. It gives it that imperfection, and it's known that it 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 also show a. a it was done at home. Here I'm going to put three together. It, you don't necessarily have to make it a, a theme. Not a theme. A set them up to do picture frames. You could just put three together. And, and decor it. So here I'm going to put three together. Okay, my favorite part is coming, which is the painting. These paints I bought at Dollar Tree. And I really like them because when they dry up, they dry up matte looking. They're like chalk paint. I find this smoothing when I soothing for me when I when I paint. And two coats. That's all you need. And again, I did backing for these, so. The little container that you see there with the paint, uh, bo uh soda bottles I cut because I recycle everything, everything in here. Um, I use the top part when I cut it for shield or something else if I need it. And I use those bottom part to either put my paint, put a little bit of water or the glue or my podge. I dip it in water and then in the, in, and then in the glue. Just good to know, you know. <laughs> Instead of going buying something, you can you if you got something at home, cut them up, save them, use them for something else. I'm not painting the back of these um, picture frames because I have a backing for them. I've been trying to look for these glues at Dollar Tree, and I can the brand anyway, and they out of stock because again, I like the way that. When it dries up, it gives it a matte look. Look like chalk paint. I sand them down at the sides. At the edges, rather. Again, let it dry and give it another a, a second coating. I 
There you have it. Two pieces for one picture frame, all dried up and done. Hey, what I forgot to show you was I did little hats also. I put three together, two and one at the bottom, and there you have it. I painted this green one with green and black, so that's why it does have that effect. This one I did the, just got bored, it didn't come out too good, but that's okay, I could cover that. And these are the car stocks I cut out. Now I'm putting the, the little cars that I cut out into the frames. Before you glue, don't make anything permanent. Make sure it is correct. You see how simple and cute and inexpensive now the backing part to it dab dab hold on to it Make sure all that glue is out. There you go, one. Again, before you make it permanent, make sure it's correct. The sides are even. Because once it goes down and you have to change it, you're pulling out the whole car stock out. And they look really cute. This is another piece of cardstock I cut out, and I'm doing the rim for the hat. You know, the cardstock, you don't have to use it in a hole. You can cut it up also. That green and black was what my was my mistake, because when I went to dip the, the brush into my green, I dipped it into the black. I'm like, okay, whatever. But it came out nice. And these are all the items I used to decor. Three pieces, simple. Anyone that wants to know, this is how I do my little bows. These are um, Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. I just pull them apart. I, I do a lot of bows with these. It's time consuming, but it's worth it. You can use them for everything. Doesn't not have to be bows. Sometimes what I don't have, I do. I also buy the ribbons like that, the strings, a Dollar Tree. But if I have burlap ribbon at home, why spend? Just gonna. It's just like a little time consuming. But 
You're not running to the store and getting something that you already have at home and you can use. These are the items I used to decor the pieces. Cherry blossoms, strings that I pulled up from the burlet ribbon, and the garlands from Dollar Tree. Okay, so the ones we're doing now are the tag ones. Wood tags. I bought these at Target about four years ago or five years ago. You see the difference? Like I said, this one was painted with um, Dollar Tree paint. I'm just going to show you how simple and how quick you can make Christmas ornaments. I cut up a uh, car stock I had. I cut them into pieces. So we're going to add this one to this one. I just had my brush. Where did that go? I only use one specific brush when it comes to the glue. Real quick, dap. Be generous because you want it to stick. So we're gonna let this one dry up. I use I wear gloves to soothe them out. That's one. See, I got a black, this is wood. They still wood tags. Be generous with the glue. My desk is never clean, so. Oh, well it is when I'm not crafting, but. Enough the axis glue. Give it a little smooth. Hey, hey, it's moving. Hey, hey, where you going? I don't cut the pieces on um, the extra um, cornstarch because I sand it down. My sander. That's two. Now look at this one. Isn't this cute? Glue. I always have tissue near me. And don't worry if you get the glue on the car stock because it dries up clear. I'm going to put this one in the angle. Clean it out. Smooth it. You see? And even if you don't have car stock, let me show you how quick and simple you could do an ornament. Wood tag. Natural. I get these little wood stick from Dollar Tree. You could just place them right here. And add some of these cherries on it. Cherry blossom, I call them, and you see, you have a decor. And I'm going to show you real quick. Let's sand these edges down. This one doesn't need any sanding. You know what? I like the way. Let me see. Let's sand this down a little bit. You see, and it comes out. The sander I got from Dollar Tree. I got to get me another one. And then down a little bit. You see? This one. Now you're going to take this one. See how it's coming up? The 
There you go. You see the clean edge? Do the next one. That's for the other side. Okay, you see? What happened here was I glued the back side of the piece. This real quick. I like to sand over my 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 pail. Clean edge. So I did two with one, two. Let me let me see something. the edges okay I got three here already two three I also made these and these now we're going to decorate them let me just So for this one, I did my little bow. We're gonna hot glue it. I'm gonna add a loop at the back of it. Hold it down. I could have looped it through the hole, but this is quicker. Let me show you an error I did. I didn't line it correctly. You see? I notice everything. So now, we are going to add some cherry blossoms. I cut all the edges, nothing that's sticking out. There we go. There you have it. That's tag number one. Get this to the side. Now we're going to do the Brewers cold out there. I, oh, well, I did these ribbons differently. So what I'm going to do is shape them up a little bit. Add some glue. Some oh, a little everywhere. Get your little tag. Let me see something. Let 
It's just the dapper glue. Ornament number two. Oh, wait, not finished with it. We're going to do this one. These are burlet ribbons I buy from Dollar Tree. I strip them. You know, I live in a Brooklyn apartment. And this office is very, uh, you know, when I started crafting, not when I started crafting, when I decided I needed a room, I turned this into my um, workspace. But throughout the years, you see, throughout the years, as more stuff came along, it started to feel a little crampy, like now. No, you can be creative when it comes to these. Oh, 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 where are you moving to? Hold it down. And when I started in this craft room, I didn't have this stuff I have now. I have so much stuff that I have a storage room for seasonal stuff. So when you see this table all looking... Like my daughter says, clean up the work area. I can't. I, I, not when I'm crafting. I cannot. As much as I try to keep it when I'm doing videos to keep it in clean, that's impossible. Not clean, but nothing on it. Okay, number three. We're doing the belief. And this one I opted for red also. This is for my little country rustic Dollar Tree tree. That in the video, I also show you how to put three tree three trees together and make it look fuller. Let's put the hook in the back. Hold it down. For the first time ever, I bought a red Christmas tree. Look how cute. Last but not least, I had this one done already. I had mod poshed it. What is this? Let's sand this piece down a little bit. 
And these are uh, car stocks. I just cut them up. Okay, with this one we're also going to do red. See how the crafters with the... I'm going to make me a stand for my glue stick with tumblers. And let me tell you, you can do a lot with tumblers. And I'm going to show you, even with these ornaments. That. That. Listen, there's nothing in my house I buy. I make everything. If I need a centerpiece, I'm making it. If I'm looking for a specific look, I'm making it. My living room, I'm making it. And these cherry blossom I got from the Dollar Tree. Isn't this cute? Look at this. Again, wood tags. I bought these about four or five years. I don't even remember how long I had them in there from Dollar Tree. I'm um, from Target. I'm sorry. Just to show you how quick it doesn't necessarily. You don't need car stock. Okay, I'm going to show you another one. You just take these two. One, two, three. Let me see. You're going to take this wood piece. Put some glue. Put it to the side. Okay, I can take my brush off of that. I'll take these remaining pieces. The point is to make it look full. And you see? Do me a local bowl, like I called them. Okay, what I do is just loop. All right, the same size. Well, they're not always the same size, but that's okay. Even fold it. I can never. I could never. I, as much as I try doing lives, I don't like them because it's the unexpected when you do lives. You know, things can go wrong. And I'm real careful where I put pieces at. Just showing you how quick you can make an ornament. You don't need car socks. Take anything you have at home, and I'm going to show you what I mean. 
I'm doing a white Christmas. I have a white Christmas tree I bought from Dollar Tree. Actually, I bought three. You'll see it in this video. And the ornaments, I did pink, white, and silver. Look. See how quick that was? Um, I made other ornaments with the, with the tumblers. These are tumblers. You see how this is a little bag. It only took three. One, two, three. That's it. Add a little lace. Uh, oh my God. Pipe cleaner. Little pearls, silver pearls, and you see? And same with this. Four tumblers. One, two, three, four. Lace. Car stock. Little pink ribbon. These are also tag, wood tags. And these are the tumblers. My little hat. That's how quick and simple you can make your own ornaments. You could customize it, personalize it. And these are made for my small Christmas tree. You can make them bigger because I found the bigger tags on Dollar, on at Dollar Tree. They're black and they're really big. So if you want bigger, then you can do bigger. But these are for my miniature Christmas tree. You see? How simple? Now, do you see how cute these look? These tag ornaments. And all it took is cherry blossoms, ribbon I pulled from, um, burlet ribbon from Dollar Tree, the little garland, um, car stock. Now, these are for my pink Christmas tree, pink and white. Do you see how beautiful it is when you do things from home? Look at that. One of a kind. They go my little bag. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next video.